Hello students, welcome to the online classes of Kerala Public School. Our today topic is uh, associative property of rational numbers. Okay, in a previous video, you have learned about the uh, commutative property and closure property as well as. So in this video, we are going to learn about the associative property of rational numbers, and we will find out. That which property is satisfied for rational numbers and which property does not satisfied. So here you can see, as you know, that we have four mathematical operations: addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So we are going to verify one by one all operations. चलो शुरुआत करते हैं एसोसिएटिव प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ रेशनल नंबर अंडर एडिशन से सो इस प्रॉपर्टी की डेफिनेशन क्या है द थ्री रेशनल नंबर्स ए बी सी आर सेट टू बी एसोसिएटिव इफ दे सेटिस्फाइड द सम ऑफ बी प्लस सी विद ए इज एक्चुअली इक्वल टू सम ऑफ ए प्लस बी विद सी गॉट इट आपको समझ आ गया होगा क्या करना है हमें जैसे तीन नंबर्स हम लेते हैं तो कोई भी तीन नंबर्स रेशनल नंबर्स हम लेंगे और उनमें से सबसे पहले बी और सी दूसरे और तीसरे का सम हम निकालेंगे और उनका सम फिर ए के साथ ऐड करते हैं और फिर इसी तरह से फर्स्ट और सेकंड ए और बी का सम निकाल के पहले उसमें फिर सी को ऐड करते हैं और चेक करते हैं कि इन दोनों कंडीशंस में हमारे आंसर सेम आते हैं या नहीं आते अगर इन दोनों कंडीशंस में आंसर सेम आते हैं तो आ, रेशनल नंबर्स एसोसिएटिव होंगे अदरवाइज नहीं होंगे तो चलिए सॉल्व करते हैं एज्यूम कर लीजिए लेट ए इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू बी इज इक्वल टू वन बाई थ्री एंड सी इज इक्वल टू टू बाई फाइव कट इट सो वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड फर्स्ट सम ऑफ बी प्लस सी विद ए सो इसको आप कैसे सोल्व करेंगे इसको सोल्व करेंगे बोर्ड मास से आपको याद होगा बोर्ड मास आप ऑलरेडी पढ़ चुके हैं ठीक है अब बोर्ड मास में हम सबसे पहले क्या ओपन करते थे ब्रैकेट्स ठीक है ब्रैकेट्स के बाद ऑफ उसके बाद डिवीजन उसके बाद मल्टीप्लिकेशन देन एडिशन एंड देन सब्सट्रैक्शन कॉट इट तो सबसे पहले हम ब्रैकेट ही सॉल्व करेंगे सबसे पहले वैल्यू पुट कर लेते हैं ए बी सी का सो वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज़ वन बाई टू यू कैन सी वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज़ वन बाई थ्री यू कैन सी हेयर एंड वैल्यू ऑफ सी इज टू बाई फाइव ओके सो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व फर्स्ट b plus c that is one by three plus two by five. Therefore, we need to take LCM of three and five, and LCM of three and five is equal to fifteen. Okay, and therefore we are going to simplify it. For that, we need to multiply it one by five and two by three. Got it? Therefore, we have one by two plus five and just five and two three just six. So we can say one by two plus five plus six by fifteen. Which is actually equal to one by two plus five plus six become eleven. So eleven by fifteen. Got it. Now we need to take again LCM of two and five. So LCM of two and five is equal to thirty. To make its denominator thirty, okay, we need to multiply it by fifteen. So you can see one by two multiply fifteen by fifteen. Okay, so it's become fifteen one zero fifteen divided by fifteen two zero thirty. Okay, so here we got fifteen by thirty, and similarly, since it was eleven by fifteen, and if we want to, uh, that is eleven by fifteen, and we want to make its denominator thirty, so we need to multiply it by two. So eleven multiplied two become twenty two, and fifteen multiplied two become thirty. Okay, so therefore we can say it is uh, actually equal to one by two plus eleven by fifteen, and from there by simplifying. We got fifteen plus twenty two divided by thirty, and that is equal to thirty seven by thirty. And we have mentioned that that is result number first, which is actually equal to the left hand side of this uh, property. Now we are going to side solve its right hand side. So you can say right hand sides what we have sum of a plus b we need to find with c. So therefore we will put the value of a, we will put the value of b, and first of all we will find their sum. So we have taken their LCM that is six. Also you will write the value of c along with them. So uh, LCM of two and three that is equal to six. And now we are going to simplify it. For that we need to multiply it. Uh, since product LCM is product of their denominator, so you can cross multiply it also. 
okay so 1 multiply 3 become 3 that is equal to 3 2 multiply 1 become 2 that is equal to 2 so it's become 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 by 6 and plus the value of c that is 2 by 5 got it now what we need to do we need to take LCM of 6 and 5 that is 30 also since it is comes from the product of 6 and 5 the denominator of the given rational numbers so here we can also cross multiply so 5 5 have become 25 and 2 6 have become 12 so we can say 25 plus 12 become 37 divided by 30 got it and that is result number second so you can say from result number first the value of result first is also 37 upon 30 and the value of second result is also 37 upon 30 so therefore we can say that from um, addition is associative for rational numbers since we actually got that the sum of b plus c with a is actually equal to sum of a plus b with c got it so since the sum is uh, equal same in the both cases so we can say that addition is associative for rational numbers got it uh, ये इजी है इसी तरह से अब बाकी जो इसका सेकंड पार्ट आता है अंडर सब्सट्रैक्शन वो आप सॉल्व कर सकते हैं ठीक है और मैं चाहूंगा कि उसको आप सॉल्व करें सो अंडर सब्सट्रैक्शन जो है यू नीड टू वेरीफाई ए माइनस बी माइनस सी इज इक्वल टू इन अ ब्रैकेट ए माइनस बी माइनस सी गॉट इट वेयर यू कैन टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ ए इज इक्वल टू 2 बाय 3 ए वैल्यू ऑफ बी इज इक्वल टू 1 बाय 7 एंड वैल्यू ऑफ सी इज इक्वल टू 5 बाय 2 सो this part you will solve by yourself try to solve and if still you got any problem and you may write in comment section okay that is third under multiplication what that means we are going to understand the associative property of rational numbers under multiplication got it and what is that the three numbers three rational numbers a b and c are said to be associative if the product of b and c then with a is actually equal to product of a and b with c got it and similarly we are going to verify it we are going to check it that whether they are equal or not so for that we need to take three values uh, respective value of a b and c so here we have taken a is equal to 3 by 7 b is equal to 1 by 9 and c is equal to 4 by 3 so let us multiply it let us find the value of left hand side that is product of b and c with a so just put the value of a 3 by 7 in a bracket value of b 1 by 9 and in a bracket multiply with value of c 4 by 3 got it since we are solving it by using code mass so first of all we will try to solve the brackets and for that what we need to do you need to solve it so 1 should be multiplied with 4 and 9 should be multiplied with 3 so 4 1s are 4 and 9 3s are 20 7 so it's become 3 by 7 multiplied 4 by 7 okay now you can see that we need to multiply them so we can cancel out by their common factor 3 so 3 ones are 3 and 27 when we will divide by 3 we got 9 so we actually got that here we have 1 multiply 4 upon 7 multiply 9 that is actually equal to 4 by 63 got it so that is the result first and which is the value of left hand side now we are going to solve right hand side that is the product of a and b with c so same uh, we are going to put their respective values so value of a is 3 by 7 multiply with value of b 1 by 9 and we have put them in the bracket thereafter it is being multiplied by value of c that is 4 by 3 so also we will solve the bracket first so 3 multiply 1 become 3 and 7 multiply 9 become 63 and it is being multiplied with 4 by 3 so you can say that 3 is the common factor so we have divided them by 3 so we got that here we have 1 1 multiply 4 become 4 and 63 multi uh, multiply with 1 become 63 so we can say that the uh, from result first and second we are getting the same value in both results so we can say that uh, property of associative property of rational numbers under multiplication is verified or also we can say that the multiplication is associative under uh, multiplication for rational numbers got it got it multiplication is associative for rational numbers 
now we are going to learn the last property that is the associative property of rational numbers under division got it and here we are going to check that it is does it hold or not so therefore we have taken three numbers a b and c okay as you can see and we are going to verify that uh, a divided by the b divided by c in a bracket that is equal to a divided by b in a bracket divided by c whether they are equal or not so for that we need to take some values and we have taken that a is equal to 2 by 5 b is equal to 1 by 10 and c is equal to 3 by 2 you can take another values also and you can verify okay so first of all we are going to solve left hand side as you can see we have put their respective value and now we are going to solve got it since it is division so first of all we will convert division into multiplication by writing the reciprocal of divisor you can see that divisor is 3 by 2 here and here we have written uh, 2 by 3 uh, got it so we have converted in converted into multiplication from division so you can multiply it now okay so we have divide 10 by their common factor 2 2 1s are 2 2 5s are 10 so here we got 3 by 5 divided by you can say 1 by 15 easily you can solve ye sab to aap apne pad bhi liya hoga samajh bhi aa gaya hoga so 3 by 5 is being divided by 1 by 15 again we have uh, convert multiplication uh, into multiplication by writing the reciprocal of divisor and divisor here was 1 by 15 so that's why we have written 15 by 1 so we have solved it so we actually got the value of left hand side is equal to 9 by 1 which is result first now we are going to solve right hand side so that is a divided by b uh, is also being divided by c so we have put their respective values and the value of a as you know that is 2 by 5 value of b that is 1 by 10 okay and value of c that is 3 by 2 okay and they are you know division so first of all we will solve the bracket uh, by using board mass so therefore again we need to solve it by using uh, conversion and how we will convert you will convert division into multiplication by writing the uh, reciprocal of divisor so here divide is, uh, divisor is 1 by 10 for this bracket so 2 by 5 is now multiplied by 10 by 1 because 10 by 1 is the reciprocal of 1 by 10 got it so we have simplified it so we actually got 4 by 1 divided by 3 by 2 again we have converted into multiplication by writing the divisor uh, by writing the reciprocal of divisor so it's become actually 8 by 3 got it and that is the result second so now you can see that in result first the answer was 9 and in result second the answer is 8 by 3 so what we can say that division is not associative for rational numbers because the value of result first and result second are not in equal in values okay so therefore we can say which property hold so now we can say that the rational numbers hold associative property under addition okay rational numbers does not hold associative property under subtraction okay does not hold rational numbers hold associative property for uh, under multiplication and rational numbers does not hold associative property for division got it understood so we can say that uh, addition is associative for rational numbers subtraction is not associative for rational numbers and multiplication is associative for rational numbers and division is not associative for rational numbers okay got it so now i hope uh, properties of rational numbers which is closet property commutative property associative property and distributive property the role of zero and role of one is clear now okay still you have died so you may write in comment section okay so now we will uh, solve particular exercise in our next videos because we have finished our explanation of this chapter got it so be safe stay home stay safe okay thank you